What is going on everyone? My name is Shui. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are talking about the base set 2 or as I like to call it the second edition. But before we get into that I want to take a moment and I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to those who have taken the time out of their day to watch my videos. If you are a new subscriber I can't tell you how excited I get every time I wake up and I see a new subscriber on the channel it shows me how much you support me. It shows me how much you like what I do. And I can't tell you how much that pushes me to want to do better quality videos for you guys. So if you've taken time out of your day to watch my videos, if you're new to the channel, you've subscribed to the channel, thank you. I can't thank you enough. It gives me so much excitement to see new people subscribing every day. And it pushes me to want to do better quality videos for you guys. So. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I encourage you to do so. I have so many things I want to do with this channel, but I need your help. In order to be able to realize those dreams, I need your help. I have so many things I want to do. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I can't thank you enough for showing me love and showing me support. It is just the beginning and I get more and more excited every second that goes by. So. Thank you to everybody who has watched. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. And to those of you that haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It's pretty exciting what's going on around here. Now it's on to the task at hand. The base set two, the second edition. We've made it through base set. We went through the jungle. We dug up fossils. Now we're on to base set two. Base set two is basically a re-release of most of the cards from the base set and the jungle set. So, today we have 130 cards to get through, so we're going to get right into it. But first, with today's giveaway, I have for you guys two packs of Pokemon Sword and Shield booster packs that I really want to give away. All you need to do is hit that like button and then comment down below in the section with your favorite Pokemon that is exclusive to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Do that and you just might receive one of these booster packs. So, let's get into it. The base set two, we have 130 cards to get through. You will see all 130 cards from the base set. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up, show me some love. So let's get into it. The base set two, we're gonna go backwards of course, and we're gonna burn through these energies and trainers pretty quickly. Here we are with the water energy. And you see the base set two symbol right there, the water energy. Next we have the psychic energy. We have the electric energy, or as some call it, the lightning energy. I call it the electric energy. The grass energy, or as some call it, the leaf energy. The fire energy, or as some call it, the fire energy. Fighting energy. And the last of the energies is the double colorless energy. Features two energies of colorless types. Now on to the trainers. We have Switch, Potion, card number 122, Pokeball, which was featured in the jungle set, the jungle's only trainer card, Pokeball, Gust of Wind, Energy Removal, Bill, Super Potion, Professor Oak, Pokedex, the Pokemon Center, we have plus power, maintenance, full heal, energy retrieval, defender, super energy removal, scoop up, 
Pokemon Trader, Pokemon Breeder, which again was one of my favorite trainers to use back in the beginning of Pokemon Trading Card Game. Skip right past that second evolution. Lass. Item Finder, which I don't think will help you find your keys if you can't find them. But in Pokemon, it'll definitely help. We have the Imposter Professor Oak. We have Computer Search. And that is the last of the trainers. Now we are on to the commons. And we have first up, Weedle. Everyone's favorite fox, the Vulpix. We have Voltorb, which has been known to be mistaken as a Pokeball. We have Venonat. Again, looking for the second edition symbol there on Venonat. We have Tangela, number 96 out of 130. Staryu. Staryu's evolved form, Starmie. Squirtle. Spearow. Sandshrew. Sandshrew's number 91 out of 130. We have Rhyhorn. And Rattata, and for those of you that are curious, this Rattata is in the top 98% of all Rattata. Poliwag. And of course, we have the one and only Pikachu. Pikachu, I choose you. Pidgey. Paris. We have the Mighty Onyx as the next card in the set. We have the male version of Nidoran, which was featured in the original base set. And then we have the female version of Nidoran, which was featured in the jungle set. So again, it's just a rehash of all the base set and the jungle cards. I don't think that there's any fossil cards. I don't. I haven't come across any that were in the fossil set. Metapod, evolved form of Caterpie. Meowth, again with the payday. Magnemite. Machop. Jigglypuff. You know what? I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about this, but I'm, I'm gonna. Here's my version of the Jigglypuff song. Jigglypuff, 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 Jiggly. Are you asleep? That's all right. I think I said in my last video that I'm trying not to put you guys to sleep, but now I'm starting to wonder. All right, on with it. We have number 76 out of 130, Goldeen. We have Ghastly. Execute. Drowsy. Doe Duo, or as my mom likes to call, the double-headed chicken. The Doe Duo. Diglett. Rounding up the commons, we have Cubone. And Charmander. And Caterpie. K 
Caterpie is number 68 out of 130. Bulbasaur. Bellsprout. And the last of the commons, we have Abra. Now it's on to the uncommons of the base set 2 set. And we start off with Bellsprout's evolved form, Weepin' Bell. War Turtle, Squirtle's Evolve Form, Tauros, Seal, Seal is number 61 out of 130, we're just over halfway there, Seeking, Evolve Form of Goldeen, Rhydon, and Raticate who is also in the top 98% of all Raticate. And we have the evolved form of Poliwag, we have Poliwhirl. And Meowth's evolved form, we have Persian. Number 55 out of 130, we have Parasect. Nidorino, evolved form of the male version of Nidoran. And then we have Nidorina, the evolved form of the female version of Nidoran. We have Marowak. Marowak is number 52 out of 130. We have Magmar. And Magikarp. With Tackle and Flail. The only moves he knows how to learn except for uh, Splash. Thank goodness Splash isn't on there. Machoke, the evolved form of Machop. We have Lickitung. Lickitung is number 48 out of 130. We're getting very close to those rares. We have Kakuna Matata. And Kadabra, evolved form of Abra. Jinx, Poke, you owe me a Coke. We have Ivysaur, the evolved form of Bulbasaur. Next we have Haunter, evolved form of Ghastly. And then we have Growlithe, my favorite fire dog of Generation 1. I think it's the only fire dog of Generation 1. Therefore, it is my favorite. Firo, the Evolve form of Spiro, number 41 out of 130. Next we have Farfetch'd. And then we have the Evolve form of Execute, Executor. Executor is number 39 out of 130. I feel like I should have these numbers memorized. Shame on me for not having these numbers memorized. Next we have Dratini with a Martini, number 38. Rounding up the uncommons, we have Dodrio, the evolved form of double-headed chicken. Uh, Doduo. We have the evolved form of seal, Dugong. And then we have Charmeleon, the evolved form of Charmander. Butterfree, the evolved form of Metapod. And the last of the uncommons, we have Arcanine, my favorite fire type, next to Charizard in the Generation 1. Charizard is always my number one fire type, uh, but if Charizard wasn't available as a starter, I would definitely go with Arcanine. Before we get into the rares, of course, it is that time of the video where we have those precious code cards for you guys coming over with the team up. And once again, the team up. And if you are lucky enough to redeem these, again, let me know in the comment section down below what you pull. We have some unbroken bonds there for you. And a team up. And another team up. And another team up. And a burning shadows. Burning Shadows, especially let me know if you pull that Hyper Rare Charizard. I know it's online version, but still let me know. One more Burning Shadows, and finally, number 10. Good luck to everybody. Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. 
Uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below, let me know if you redeem those and you pull them. Now it's time for the rares. Now unlike the jungle and fossil, they didn't do hollows and non-hollow versions of these. So here we go with the second edition rares. Kicking it off with the evolved form of Weeping Bell, we have Victory Bell. Venomoth, non-holographic. Snorlax, non-holographic. Pinsir. Pidgeotto. Mr. Mime. Kangaskhan. Evolve form of Electro, or uh, excuse me, Voltorb, Electrode, with the Bazap. Electabuzz. Doug Trio, non holographic. Dragonair. And the final non holographic rare in the base set two set is Beedrill. Now it's time for the holographics. Here we go. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We have a holographic Zapdos. I love the holographic artwork on these cards. I don't know how well you can see it, but if you're sitting where I'm sitting, I can see it pretty good. Holographic Zapdos. Next we have holographic Wigglytuff. And then we have the base set to Final evolution of Bulbasaur, the base set to Venusaur. Holographic. A lot of these cards I remember pulling in booster packs all those years ago, and I still get the same excitement today as I did 20 plus years ago. Holographic Scyther is up next, card number 17. We're about to hit the top 15 cards. Holographic Scyther. Next, we have another one of my favorite artworks, Holographic Raichu, second edition, or base set two. Holographic Raichu. Next, we have Holographic Polyrath, Evolve form of Poliwhirl. And we have card number 14 in the set, another one of my favorite artworks, the Holographic Pidgeot, Evolve from Pidgeotto. Number 13, Holographic Ninetales. So many great artworks when this set first came out. And they still have good artworks today, but I don't think they compare to what they were when they first came out all those years ago. So much nostalgia when I look at these cards. Holographic Ninetales. Number 12, Holographic Nitto Queen. This was actually the last card that I needed in the base set 2 set. Um, last card I needed, took me a while to find it, but I finally did, found it at a local card shop, needed to have it, finished off my set, Holographic Nittle Queen, and we have her brother, or boyfriend, Holographic Nitto King. It's a shame they changed him to Psychic type in the Evolution set, because I really liked him as a Grass type. Everything went well with the holographic and the green. And with that, we have hit the top 10. Number 10, holographic Mewtwo. In the set. Number 9, holographic Magneton. 9 out of 130. I apologize about the reflection that some of you were seeing. I need to see about taking care of that. But nevertheless, this is, these are beautiful cards, nevertheless. Number eight, Holographic Hitmonchan. Number seven, Holographic Gyarados. Number six, Holographic Clefairy. Now this is one of the very, very few cards in the original sets that I have. It's actually not in the greatest of conditions. There is a uh, slight bend. I don't know how well you can see it there, but it's like right here. Uh, but it, it's still a good card. Um, I wish I had a better, better condition card of it, but this is what I have. Uh, but Clefairy, I'm sorry. 
Uh, you're still going in the box though. Holo fairy, uh, holographic Clefairy number six, top five in the base set two. Clefairy's Evolved Form Clefable. And card number four, a card that a lot of you I'm sure are waiting for. He needs no introduction. The base set to Holographic Charizard. Probably hands down the most sought out card in this set. And I'd like to say that my card is actually in pretty good condition. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. But I like to think that it's in pretty good condition. Base set to Holographic Charizard. Number four. Top three, number three, Holographic Chansey. Number three out of 130. And number two, the final of the starter evolutions, we have the base set to Holographic Blastoise. Uh, such a beautiful card and such a powerful card with the rain dance. I can attach as much energy as I want to. You can't stop me unless you put them to sleep. And now we've reached the number one card in the base set too. We have a holographic Alakazam. Such great artwork, such great holographic. The entire set, top to bottom, absolutely a uh, Amazing. Well, that is it. That is the entire base set too. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and be notified when I post new videos. Also, go check out the videos over there. Those are previous videos that I've done. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Shway, and I will see you all in my next video.